Hello, my name is Jason Gay. I'm a sports columnist at the Wall Street Journal. We're doing video because video is the future. Competing with cats on skateboards, dogs that can juggle, trying to sound like I belong on television. And it's very strange. Anyway, big topic, Lance Armstrong, Oprah Winfrey, two-part interview, pretty crazy to watch. Lance Armstrong from the get-go was asked, yes or no, did he use performance enhancing drugs? Yes. Did he use EPO? Yes. Did he use testosterone, HGH, cortisone? Yes. Did he do this in every one of his record-breaking seven Tour de France victories? Yes. Just a steady drum beat of yeses really brought down the myth of Lance Armstrong. The cat is making a racket. When you get into the crazy octagon of Wall Street Journal video, you might just have a cat decide to bite a trash bag. Why are you interrupting the Lance Armstrong, Oprah Winfrey video? You know, I try to make a living. I got to buy your fancy feast. You're messing with me. Get out of here. You just don't know what you're going to get here, folks. Anything can happen with a Wall Street Journal video. Anyway, rest of the interview, a little different. A lot of parsing, a lot of half answers. Winfrey kept pressing him about the personal aspect of this, his tactics as a bully, someone who went after people, who tried to devastate the lives and livelihoods of people who questioned his narrative. Armstrong accepted guilt as a bully, accepted the fact that he could be menacing. How this story points forward post Oprah? Well, there are going to be a lot of people who want to talk to Lance Armstrong. Chief among them, United States Anti Doping Agency, the World Anti Doping Agency. He's going to be talking for a long time. This is Jason Gay with the Wall Street Journal. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to subscribe to this television extravaganza, which does come with complimentary interruptions from a cat, click on the banner below. Thank you.